welcome to Atrium 2. I'm Miss Denise. Miss Carol is uh, traveling today. So let's begin our lesson. We'll start with a prayer and we'll light our little battery operated candle because Jesus is the light. And the prayer is that I ask for the gift of his spirit to fill me with his peace in his light. So this week is the fifth week or Sunday of the Easter season. So we have three more to go. And one of them will be the Feast of Pentecost. And as you remember, during this time, the uh, clergy wears white or yellow in the chasubles and the stoles. So last week, we talked about how Jesus, after his crucifixion, uh, appeared to the apostles three times. Once along the walk to Emmaus. I remember we just briefly talked about that, that he um, appeared and walked along with them. They invited him to stay with him and they ate a meal he blessed the bread and they um, didn't recognize him until then last week we talked about and we actually read the scripture of the apostles in the locked room and how jesus appeared to him and told him peace be with you a couple of times and this week well, this week we're going to talk about Jesus ascending to the Father. The third time the apostles, the, they appeared to Jesus, excuse me, appeared to the apostles was along, um, along they had gone home to begin work again, to fish. And he appeared to them while they were doing their job and said, uh, no, I, I have another job for you. So um, today we are going to read Luke 24, uh, verse 50 through 53 from the New International Version Bible. And this scripture is called the Ascension of Jesus. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, there's the city of Bethany. He lifted up his hands and he blessed them. So he's blessing his apostles again. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple praising God. Amen. That's the end of the scripture. So the reading is short, isn't it? The ascension happened fast. Before he ascended, he ascended, he blessed the apostles. I wonder what the blessing was. I wonder what it was. What he included in that blessing to the apostles. The, the apostles, they, he, they returned to Jerusalem, right? From Bethany to Jerusalem. And they did it with great joy. And they went to the temple to continually praise God. Now the apostles praise in public and they're unafraid. Remember they were afraid in the locked room? They're, they are no longer confused. They understand it was not the end of the story. It's not the end of the story. We can all marvel at the ascension and what happens now in our world. There's another work in our atrium it's called the Blue Unity Strip, also known 
as the history of the kingdom of God. So we can see now that God had a plan, a sequence of events. There was the birth of Christ, his sinless life, his crucifixion, his resurrection, the ascension, and the coming of the Holy Spirit. And here it is on our unity strip. It's kind of like a history of things. And here's where man began on the earth. And then this time, this small time where Jesus, you know, um, was born, where he lived his sinless life, where he was crucified on the cross, his resurrection, and then his ascension. Isn't that amazing, that small little area? And look how long God's plan, how long ago it began before the animals, the birds, and the fish were on the earth, before the trees, the flowers, and the grasses, before the first cell appeared on the earth, the first organism, before the land masses developed on earth, and before things were all mixed up in the masses. Well, you can see here we have all things were mixed up together and then the waters gathered and dry land appeared, and then there appeared the smallest living organism, organisms, and then the earth became covered with vegetation, and then it became filled with animals, and then humans appeared, who were intelligent and able to work with their hands, on the day of Bethlehem, Jesus Christ is born. Um, true God, true man who died on the cross. From the day of resurrection, the life of the risen Christ began the sp to spread. And the history continues on yet another page written. The page each person writes together with God is here. So this is where we are now, right? And then, well, the history will be complete in Borussia. The kingdom of God will be established. When the kingdom of God will be established forever. So, yeah, I wanted to show you this uh, unity spread, the history of the kingdom of God, because it is here in the atrium, and I want you to be able to come in and work with these materials on your own, and look at them, and read them, and there's more to it than just this. We call this the control sheet. So this is uh, what you refer to um, when you're trying to lay out all these things on another strip where it's totally empty. And you need to remember how it goes. And this is just a reference. The control sheet is a reference for you to use when you're working with this material. You see the laminate person, but when I got it laminate, they, they had a little issue. <laughs> anyway. 
So we meet one more time before the summer um, begins. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Thank you. Amen.